Welcome to the Recognising and Responding to Deterioration in Mental State Awareness Training. Recent New South Wales health policy changes strengthen the Deteriorating Patient Program by including mental state deterioration and recognising a patient's deterioration in mental state as early as possible. The standard observation charts for adults and maternity have been updated to include C for new onset confusion or change in behaviour in ACVPU. The C is not new to you. It was previously listed as an additional yellow zone calling criteria. After this video, you'll have an understanding of the new requirements and resources for recognising, responding to and managing mental state deterioration. You will know when to screen for mental state deterioration, which tools to use, and how to escalate the care of a person who is displaying signs of mental state deterioration. In response to the clear directions provided around mental state recognition and management, Hunter New England Local Health District partnered with consumers to review and update the mental state admission screening questions. Action points have been added to guide clinicians when a patient provides a yes response to a screening question. Now, let's look at Jo, who presents to a hospital for investigation and treatment. Jo has no previous medical conditions or comorbidities. Jo lives an active and social life, enjoys time with friends and family, and works at a local business. Routine mental health screening on admission indicates that there are no concerns flagged for Jo. Over the next 24 hours, Jo's behaviour changes. She becomes teary and anxious. Concerned that her dog has been left at home alone, Jo wants to be discharged home to look after her pet. The staff reassure Jo that a social worker will help to find a safe shelter for her dog. Jo has now displayed a change in her behaviour and breached the yellow zone on the observation chart. Could there be a change in her physical condition? In the next 48 hours, Jo is pacing in her room, teary and irritable, and is not communicating with staff. Remember, you now have a C in the ACVPU, along with additional calling criteria of altered mental state for paediatric patients for monitoring for signs of new onset confusion or a change in behaviour. To support ongoing mental state screening after admission, a mental state observation tool has been developed. You will use this tool when you observe that your patient's mental state has deteriorated. Staff try to communicate with Jo, but she becomes angry and distressed. Staff recognise the continued mental state deterioration. She is becoming disorientated to time and place and her speech is nonsensical. Jo continues to trigger the yellow zone C in the ACVPU and the nursing staff now request a clinical review. By using the C to indicate new onset confusion on the standard adult general observation, SAGO chart, mental state deterioration can be flagged early. Jo now receives a clinical review and is commenced on the mental state observation form. Some of the things to look out for are a reported change in mental state, such as the person telling you that things have changed and they are seeking help. A change in behaviour, such as the person being out of character, pacing or wandering around and not following requests or instructions. Upset, tearful, angry or withdrawn behaviour. Signs of confusion or disorientation. Auditory hallucinations, such as reaching or responding as if hearing voices or sounds. Tactile hallucinations, such as picking at the bedclothes or at their skin. Behaviour or speech is aggressive or unwelcome and you recognise an increased risk for the person, yourself or other patients. A clinical review for Joe reveals a temperature of 37, pulse 101, blood pressure 114 over 60 and no concerning respiratory symptoms. Following the clinical review, the doctor documents a management plan including for close observation. Nurses complete the mental state observation form once a shift, using their accumulated knowledge and observation of Joe over the course of their shift. Once a comprehensive A to G assessment has occurred and physiological reasons for deterioration have been ruled out, a further referral to the consultation liaison, CL, psychiatry or other mental health may occur. When a change in mental state deterioration has been identified, the mental state observation form provides guidance and outlines the next steps and actions to take. 
It is critical to know that the signs of mental state deterioration can indicate a physiological deterioration and not necessarily a sign of acute mental health changes. Escalate the care of a patient when there has been a change in their mental state using the same process for escalating the care of a deteriorating patient who shows changes in their physical state by calling for a clinical review or placing a rapid response call. In summary, Hunter New England Local Health District are working to strengthen the recognition and management of mental state deterioration by implementing updated admission mental state screening questions and associated actions in response to positive answers. The new mental state observation form supports ongoing monitoring of patients who display mental state deterioration. The New South Wales standard observation charts now include a C in ACVPU, which enables monitoring for new onset confusion or change in behaviour. Follow your facility's clinical emergency response system, SIRS protocols, to escalate any change in a person's mental state. Early recognition, escalation and management of changes in mental state supports better outcomes for patients.